I love this one. Okay. So, this is going to make a little snowman. Now, these are pretty light in color. We are going to paint them white anyway to make it more snowy. You can also use your light blue to add a little bit of shadow and light if you want to, but I'm going to keep it simple and just paint my beads white. Make sure you are smoothing out your paint. You don't want it to be lumpy. Let it dry easier when it's nice and smooth. I don't know why I started with the middle one, but hey, that's where we are. Paint the entire thing. It's actually easier if I do this. Ha! All three are done. And now I just have to wait for them to dry. Clean the brush. And get your glue guns ready. Okay. Once your little beads are dry, grab your pipe cleaner and you want to twist a little loop at the top here so just twist it to create a loop and then we are going to thread in the beads from the smallest one to oh i kind of wanted to have a bigger loop at the top so here we go from the smallest one to the biggest one. That is if you want to make a traditional snowman. But who's to say that the biggest one doesn't go in the middle? Totally up to you. Get creative. And then I'm going to twist the pipe cleaner at the bottom. And actually fold it in to hold the beads in place like this. Secure it in place by pushing this in. You can even add a little bit of glue at the bottom and then push down the beads. Open up that loop if it got too small. And let's start decorating Mr. Snowman. Okay, I will open up, close my white so it doesn't dry, open up my orange, and start with a carrot nose. I'm going to give him a nice long nose. Wash your brush. I'm going to open up the pink. Some rosy cheeks. Oh, that was way too much pink, so I'm gonna wipe my brush and spread it a little better. Maybe even add a tiny bit of white on top. There we go. I like that shape. Okay, now for the mouth, you can go with a smile or you can do little dots. I'm going to look at this. Use a little bit of water. I'm going to use the lid of the black to water down the paint a little bit so that I have a very fine tip to my brush 
and I'm gonna give him a smiley face. And then my favorite trick, using the back of your brush, dab it so it doesn't have too much paint on it, give your snowman some eyes, and buttons. So using the back of your brush like a stamp, you dip it in the paint and dab on your snowman and there he is now we have a piece of colorful yarn and this is going to be our little snowman's scarf make sure your paint is dry first before you do this step so go ahead and wrap the scarf around his neck and use the glue gun to overlap the scarf on the other side here. It looks nice and warm. 